gitu. Music. I started playing when I was five, and uh, the things that I realized a human mind can do. I saw that there was no limit. Like there was just if you really put your mind to it and you just keep doing it, it could take you in so many places, and it has. Like I've been so blessed to where the harp has taken me, to meet so many different people, which has helped me meet the cultures and the history that I am completely amazed of. And within that, like I saw bigger parts of the art and the entertainment industry and all that, which um, made me because of the harp. Made me open doors into theater and cinema, and because of the cinema, it reopened more doors to the music, including the harp. So it's just like this circle of like entertainment and art that is just it's going insanely crazy, and it's so exciting. I cannot wait. If you, th if you think about money, like, it's just, I, I wish you good luck in life because that's just such a tough standard. You're putting yourself like this huge, I, I do not choose to think about money at all. I like to choose about what I love to do and money just comes with it. Like it's just, it rewards you with what you follow and what you guide on. And that's what I do. I love to play music. I love to listen to music. I love to watch people playing any kind of an instrument, any kind of genre of, of you know, music out there. I want to make it to help everyone else out there because it is such a tough world out there. And I was blessed because of everyone around me who has helped me. My teachers, my parents, my friends, the people who worked in the industry, they believed in me. And that's all I needed. I needed people to believe in me. I didn't, and that's why I wanna give. If I make it as how like the world wants to see it, I wanna take that and I wanna give it to other people. So they see that there's someone who believes in them. And that's all they need. They need hope. They need faith. And that's what gives them the happiness to life. So yes, I will help you. harp everybody asks me that sometimes I even ask myself why the harp but and I probably when I was like six I asked my parents again why I picked the harp and uh, when I lived in France because I was born in France and my mom is from Paraguay that's where my harp is from it's a Paraguayan harp and ever since I was a little girl one two years old we would go to this restaurant and there was always this harp player and they would tell me that every single time I was at a restaurant, I would just stare at the harpist and I would just listen to him playing. And my grandfather saw that. So when I was three, my grandfather bought me this harp that I have right in front of me. And, um, and my parents thought that we were gonna have like a very nice decoration at home. And as soon as I got to the house, the first question that I asked my parents, where's my harp teacher? And that's where it started. They took that right away. They're like, oh my gosh, she wants to play the harp. Why not get her a teacher? 
And it wasn't until two years later it took us to find a heart teacher because I couldn't read. And uh, ever since, I started there and it's been very good 15 years.